So things are kind of hectic around here. Lots of exciting things happening. Thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna go into what we're doing on our van. The van build series on our van is officially starting, but it's gonna be pretty slow. Um, we have exciting things happening at our house. New fence and gate getting put in because it used to be all the way back. I don't know if you can see it where that big column is back there. So we finally are doing this, which is so nice because then we can park multiple vans back here. And do you guys recognize this van? This is our second van conversion. I'll show you inside real quick. We were doing some service work on it. Oh, I miss her, but that's all you get for now. What are you opening up there? Kill mat. Woohoo! Oh, battery's almost dead. <laughs> yeah, this guy behind me making all this noise. Yeah, here's Ori. Actually working while the rest of us are creating content. <laughs> Today we are working, well, I'm not. Ori is. Thanks, buddy. Today we're working on insulating the floor of the van. Um, Whose using... van? Our van. That's right. Uh, 174 by 4. Wow. Okay. Or even number three. This is number three. We have not used kill mat in any of our personal vans before. The 170 extended family van that we're building right now, they installed pro mat or excuse me, kill mat themselves before they brought it up. A couple of the benefits. Number one, it is a sound deadening material. And number two, because you are applying it directly, and it's got this like rubberized coating on the backside of it, directly to the metal floor of the van, it's also gonna help with rust prevention down the line. So it's gonna adhere directly to the metal. So if you do have leaks in your water systems or anything like that later on, and you've got water that's running by your subfloor and getting down underneath, this is gonna help your floor prevent rust damage, which is very important in the van, especially if you wanna sell it later. So kill mat. We ordered three boxes of this. It comes in a heavy duty box. Um, they tell you how many square feet are in each box. So it has this reflective side on this side. The other side again is like this black sticky tar type material. Um, and Ori is gonna go through and lay this in the entire metal floor. We did pull out the stock subfloor. I would highly recommend, I was watching a video yesterday where I said highly recommend like 20 times. I would recommend if you are ordering a van from Mercedes that you do get it with the wooden stock floor. It's engineered for these vans, it's gonna fit perfectly and it's gonna give you the best base for building your van versus building your own uh, subfloor. So we're gonna put this down and then we're gonna go and do a little bit of foam insulation over top of this. Then we're gonna put the subfloor back down and we're gonna start to build out the van on top of the subfloor. Some tools and equipment that you're going to need. We've got two different rollers. This is like a big roller that we got at Home Depot. It's been well used, well loved. It's got this good handle here for extra effort. <laughs> and then there's this smaller, like inch and a half, two inch roller that we're gonna be using as well. And last but not least, you are also going to want knee pads. And this is really important because you will ruin your pants. Um, this stuff, the black material will, will kind of ooze out the sides. And I ruined a brand new pair of Carhartts running around our client's van when they were coming to drop off. I put on my good car hearts because I wanted to look good. And I was on my knees running around the van, drawing out their layout, and I looked down, and I had black crap all over my nice car hearts, which aren't nice anymore. And you don't want to ruin your pair of car hearts, do you? That was a lot of car heart right there. <laughs> you do wear car hearts every day. <laughs> I think Ori is wearing them yeah. too. They're like twins every day over here at Custom um, Crafted Vans. When you get really cool, you get the car hearts that have the built-in knee pads. I got my knee pads yeah. in my car but they would still stain if I didn't put knee pads on the outside. This video has gone way too long and we are now Okay, now we gotta get to work, huh? Yeah, Ori does. All right, <laughs> right Ori. <laughs> Any tips for anybody now that you just got done laying all this? Maybe wear gloves. Got a little blood. <laughs> <laughs> Always wear gloves and yeah. eye protection. And good knee pads for sure. Right on. That's about it. Just getting this foam laid. Now here's the thing. You're gonna probably want to go crazy with insulating your van. The floor. 
doesn't really matter. Insulate it, but don't go nuts because you have a giant windshield in the front of your van that transfers heat and cold more than anything else you could do here. Plus, if you're putting in vinyl flooring, which I highly recommend, it's plastic. If it's cold outside, plastic is going to be cold. So what are we doing in this van so that our plastic floor isn't cold? We're going to put radiant heat in. Oh, we are? Yeah, you're we are. in? I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> Just on the walkway. We're going to put radiant yeah. heat at the walkway so that even when our S-Bar heater is cooking and it's nice and warm in here, you can walk around in the van and your feet are going to be toasty and stuff. Yeah. Because, Ori, you insulated your floor, right, yeah, with foam board? I have like an inch and a half or at least an inch of insulation under that plus the uh, kill mat and it's still cold in the wintertime. I mean, yep. There's nothing you can do about it. Totally. Gonna put subfloor back in? Yep. All right. Subfloor back in, heat back in, and we're done. Just for the record, real men wear gloves. <laughs> I'm guessing Ori's not wearing them. <laughs> this is all they do all day, harass each other. It's because he's only really built one van. <laughs> we need to, yeah, pick yours. There you go, now push it forward. Your end ended. Well, good? Yeah, it just needs to come forward. <laughs> There's the technique. <laughs> Alex, you didn't have these moves. <laughs> you get it? What are you waiting on? <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah, they literally <laughs> got it. That was the move. <laughs> just gonna make sure <laughs> over here. <laughs> Wow, Alex, yeah. these are Good the job, things Bob. that you don't know. <laughs> All right, this is ready to go. Subfloor is back in, seat is mounted back in again. Still gotta put the car seat back on, but yeah. Subfloor is done, insulated, ready for the next part, which is gonna be insulating the walls, which Sarah's gonna handle with Reflectix. I think we're gonna be trying something new with the insulation, so. Watch, watch out for that. Heading out to the shop, going to walk through what we did for insulation on the walls of the van and check out all of the space that we have now. We finally got our fence replaced and now we can fit so many vans. Ooh, that's bright, back here. So it's pretty cool. We've got lots and lots of extra space. So let's get in here if I know the code. Apparently I do. Here comes Alex with some insulation. So we actually have our client's van in here right now, but we did the same thing on her van as our van. So we're just gonna show you that. So like I said, this is actually our client's van that we are building two vans out at the same time, our van and our client's van. So we were working on hers yesterday. So it's in the shop. So we're gonna film out here because it's kind of cold outside. So we did the same thing in her van as we did on ours, which we actually are using wool on these vans. Um, we'll link below the company that we bought our wool through, but it comes in these strips or what they call bats like this, and it's actually two inches. Now, all I did to insulate the walls is we did a layer of Reflectix, then wool, and now you can see the Reflectix. This is really easy to work with. Definitely wear a mask when you're working with it because it, as you're ripping it to kind of fill in the sections that you need and get the sizes you need, it's a lot of just dust in the air, wool dust, I guess it would be. So definitely wear a mask because it's kind of, it's not bad to work with, but you'd be breathing it in. And yeah, all you have to do is just rip this into the sections and the sizes that you need. And then you can also rip it and pull it apart into small spaces to stuff all of the little cavities that are in these vans. A quick note about insulation. People can debate this all day long. There's tons of information out there on insulation and what's best and everybody has their opinion, everybody has their method. Bottom line is just pick something. Anything will help, but also realize that this is a van and your biggest conductor of heat and cool is actually gonna be your front cab, which you can't do much to insulate a windshield and front windows. And if you're gonna add extra windows into your van, just know that that's gonna be the biggest cold and heat transfer in your van. So a lot of people go overboard on the insulation. Speaking from experience, the cab really is what's going to influence the rest of the van the most. And again, you can't really do much about that. So keep it simple, don't overthink it, just do it. I feel like people can research insulation for 
weeks <laughs> and debate about it. I'm sure there'll be debates down in the comments below, but that's okay. We have our method, we've used it, we have tested it, and it works. A lot of people hate on Reflectix, but we have done tests on our own. It really makes a massive difference. So like I said, we did Reflectix, wool, and then Reflectix. We stuffed as many of the cavity cavities as we could. And then to fill in kind of the big sections where the windows are, I did use a little bit of spray glue, then stuck the wool to it and came back with some tape just to make sure that that was secure. And then we put the Reflectix over it. For the ceiling, we have not insulated the ceiling on this fan yet. It will have a layer of Reflectix and then foam board just because it's a lot easier to work with for putting up on the ceiling. As you can see, we already have all of our furring up and we are ready to rock and roll. We have steel studs cut for the bathroom on this fan. And what else? That's pretty much it. Let's give you a break. Cause this is what the shop looks like while we're building a van. You guys wanna see? All of these things mean something. They're used for something. These are all the furring strips for this van. A sander, cause we're sanding all the time. My little tool pack. I love having all my tools in a little pack that I can just put inside the van and then I don't have to keep getting out of the van. Spray glue, these are the Malco screws that we use to attach the uh, st uh, steel studs together. Armor all, cause we're always cleaning, why not? <laughs> this is flashing tape, drills. Oh yeah. look, here's kitchen. a kitchen cabinet that I built. For a different van, not even this van or our own van, we are consulting on a van right now, so building some cabinetry for that. Yep. I will say, so if you're looking for step-by-step, -step, because we did not film step-by-step -step on the insulation, we do have one from our old build series when we were building out our second van, and that shows us putting up the Reflectix. We were actually doing denim and then Reflectix again, if you really want to see the step-by-step -step method, so I'll link that. Um, oh, I oh. forgot. There's a shower pan. Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're like cruising on these. You can always follow us on Instagram if you want to see a little bit behind the scenes. We're sharing our van build on there. Where could they find information, say, if they wanted to see like all the products that we use in all of our van builds? On our website. And this video is actually sponsored by Squarespace. Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's video. One of the greatest features about Squarespace that we love the most is how easy it is to create blog posts. Not only that, but it is completely SEO friendly. A lot of you ask, does Squarespace have SEO built in? And they do, which is amazing. So you can add tags and categories to your blog posts, as well as actually edit what the Google search result will look like. Say somebody's searching for van life insulation and your blog post pops up. You can change the, the way the title shows up, the description, Again, editing all those tags and all of that, and it's super easy to, again, have SEO just built right into your website with Squarespace. Not only that, but they have amazing analytics so you can see traffic and all sorts of stuff, Google search keywords, how people are actually finding your website. Head to squarespace.com for a free two-week trial and head to squarespace.com forward slash 40 hours for 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. Yet again, sponsored by Squarespace because we love them. And we will have a blog post down below with insulation, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, this is our new beautiful build. So this is the blue gray color. Alex and I had an argument that that wasn't a color, but it is. This is the blue gray color. This is actually a four by four 2019 170 extended. 3,500, I think I was forgetting something. So it has the high wheels. roof. It is a high <laughs> roof, come on. You gotta get the high roof. And we're just starting this build. So we're gonna, this is gonna be the beach house layout. We haven't done a beach house in such a long time. We're so excited to finally build another beach house. Amazing client, she is just the best and really excited to build this out. She's just gonna travel in it part time and get some windows installed here soon and be rocking and rolling. Now one thing on this, we did install this nice step because it's the four by four. And I gotta say, it makes a real big difference, you guys. Because <laughs> otherwise you're stepping all the way up, you know, like that's, that's a big step, so. Doing some lunges. Yeah, you get a nice little stair climb. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this week's video. Hopefully that helps. Again, don't overthink your insulation. Just go and do it. Because again, your biggest heat and trans cold transfer is your front cab. So, and again, if you're gonna put windows in, there's only so much you can do in a van. 
Now, when it comes to regulation of temperature, heater, AC unit, that's really how you're gonna keep yourself comfortable in your van. So, that is it. Till next time, bye. Peace.